diseases for athletes, B1, B2, H1B, H2B, O1, and P1 visas. Money, fame, and autograph hunters go hand in hand with top athletes who have practiced their sport all over the world. But they may find themselves out of their league when it comes to understanding the rules of the game and evaluating the appropriate visa for athletes and their immigration options to enter the U.S. All good things in the world are not served on a silver platter, and neither is the American dream of success, fame, and wealth that can be earned through athletic skills and hard work. The key to winning the U.S. immigration game lies in working with the dream team of visa options for immigration success, the B, H, O, and P visas for athletes. Let's start with the O-1 visa for athletes. The O visa classification provides admission for persons with extraordinary ability in athletics and their essential support personnel to the United States. Only individuals qualify for the O-1 visa category. Groups fall into different categories that will be discussed later. In order for a group or team to qualify for O-1 status, each member of that group or team would be required to meet the extraordinary ability test. The O-1 visa is granted for a specific event, whether the event lasts for a weekend or a complete season. O-1 visas for athletes themselves, though through consistent national or international acclaim, have demonstrated extraordinary ability in the athletics. There is no foreign residence requirement for the O visa class, but the athlete must have intent to stay temporarily in the U.S. O2 visas for accompanying aliens who are coming temporarily to the United States solely to assist the athletic performance of an O1 alien for a specific event or performance. Let's look now at special rules for traded athletes in the O1 category. A professional athlete in the U.S. in O1 status who is traded from one team or organization to another is automatically entitled to work for 30 days after the trade or acquisition, provided a new I-129 is filed within that 30-day period. Once the new I-129 has been filed, the athlete will continue to be authorized to work until the new petition is adjudicated by the USCIS. Let's look at deal dual intent. The INA does not require an applicant for an O-1 visa to have a residence abroad which he or she does not intend to abandon, nor does it address the issue of temporariness for, of stay for O-1 non-immigrants. In substituting beneficiaries, since the O-1 petitions relate to a specific individual athletes, a substitution of O-1 beneficiaries is not permitted. Each qualifying athlete must show that they meet the extraordinary standard. Thus, a new petition will be required in the case of a change of beneficiary. Moving to the period of admission. An approved petition for an alien classified O-1 shall be valid for a period of time determined by USCIS to be necessary to accomplish the event or activity, but not to exceed three years. An approved petition for an alien classified O-2 shall be valid for a period of time determined to be, to be necessary for the O-1 athlete to accomplish the event or activity, again, not to exceed three years. Please note, an extension of time or an extension of stay may be authorized in increments up to one year for an O-1 or O-2 non-immigrant to continue or complete the same event or activity for which he or she was admitted, plus an additional 10 days to leave. Let's look at a puzzle here. Rodney is a professional tennis player, or a professional golfer, or a professional race car driver. What type of visa is suitable for him? If he's coming to the U.S. to compete in a tournament or sporting event for which he will receive no salary or payment from a U.S. source other than prize money, he will require a B-1 visa or may travel without a visa if otherwise qualified for the visa waiver program. If his proposed activities are not exactly as described above, he will require an O or a P visa. Let's move now to P1 visas for athletes. The P1 visa classification provides admission for athletes, athletic teams, and their essential support personnel to the United States. These visas are approved for participation 
or performance at specific athletic competitions, individually or as part of a group or a team, and that team must have been at an international level. International recognition is defined as a degree of skill and recognition substantially above that ordinarily encountered, to the extent that such achievement is renowned, leading, or well known in more than one country. Individual ath athletes may be admitted for up to five years and a team for a period of up to six months. Special rules also apply for traded professional P1 athletes. As within the O1 visa, a professional P1 athlete traded from one team to an organiza or organization to another is automatically entitled to work for 30 days from the trade or acquisition, provided a new I-129 is filed within that period. Once the I-129 is filed, the athlete will continue to be authorized to work until the new petition is adjudicated by USCIS. Dual intent. INA imposes a residence abroad requirement. Therefore, every P visa applicant must satisfy the consular officer that he or she has a residence abroad which they have no intention of abandoning. However, there are some exceptions for P visa holders where they may seek P status when a labor cert or preference petition has been filed on their behalf. Substituting beneficiaries. Beneficiaries may be substituted at the consulate or port of entry when the people are visa exempt on P1 petitions for teams or other groups. It should be noted that all groups qualified for P status may benefit from the substitution procedures. However, qualified support personnel cannot be substituted. The period of admission. The periods of validity for approved P petitions are as follows. P1 individual athlete, up to five years. P1 athletic team, period of time to be de determined by the USCIS to be necessary to compete, complete the competition or event, but not to exceed one year. Essential support personnel to P1 aliens, period of time to complete the event, activity, or performance for which the P1 alien is admitted, but not to exceed one year. No, an extension of stay for a P1 individual athlete and his or her essential support personnel may be authorized for a period of up to five years for a total period of stay not to exceed 10 years. An extension of stay may be authorized in increments of one year for P1 athletic teams. All right, let's look at another puzzle here. I'm accompanying a professional golfer on tour to the United States. What type of visa do I require? Provided you are customarily employed by the golfer and not just hired to accompany him or her for this particular tournament, the golfer is competing in tournaments for prize money only and you will continue to be paid by your employer, you will require a B-1 visa or you may enter under the visa waiver program. If the professional golfer is applying for an O or P visa, you should apply for an O2 or P1 visa as an essential personnel to accompany him or her to the U.S. The Complete Act. The creating opportunities for minor league professionals, entertainers, and teams through Legal Entry Act of 2006, the Complete Act of 2006, expands the P1 non-immigrant visa classification to include certain athletes who were formerly admitted as H2B non-immigrants. The Complete Act, passed by Congress on December 6, 2006, is designed to allow certain amateur and semi-professional international athletes and coaches to qualify for temporary work visas, giving them an opportunity to participate and compete in sports in the United States. The following types of athletes and performers who seek admission for the purpose of performing in a competition or theatrical ice skating production fall under the P-1 non-immigrant visa classification. Now, number one, an individual who performs as an athlete, individually or as part of a group, at an internationally recognized level of performance. Number two, a professional athlete employed by a team that is a member of an association of six or more professional sports teams whose total combined revenues exceed $10 million per year if the association governs the conduct of its members and regulates the contest tests and exhibitions in which its member teams regularly engage, or 
any minor league team that is affiliated with such an organization. Individual coaches or athletes performing with teams or franchises located in the United States that are part of an international league or association of 15 or more amateur sports teams if the foreign league is operating at the highest level of amateur performance in the relevant foreign country or participation in that foreign league renders the players ineligible whether on temporary or permanent basis to earn a scholarship or to participate in the sport at a college or university in the United States under the rules of the National Collegiate Athletic Association, the NC2A, and where a significant number of players who play in the foreign leagues are drafted by major league or minor league affiliates of such sport, sports leagues in the United States. Amateur or professional ice skaters who perform individually or as part of a group in theatrical ice skating productions and tour or tours also fall into this category. The Complete Act makes P-1 visas available to athletes from minor league baseball and junior league hockey teams affiliated with a major league baseball or NHL team, as well as many soccer players. Some athletes and their support staff will still face difficulties qualifying for the traditional O and P visa categories. They cannot produce the required evidence of constant national or international acclaim or cannot express that they are prominent or extraordinary. The alternatives to such instances are the B1 and B2 visas. B1 visas for athletes. Business related travel is generally permitted under the B1 visitor's visa. Specifically, in the applicable U.S. law, the term business is limited to the contract negotiations, participation in scientific, educational, professional, or business conventions, conferences, or seminars, and other legitimate activities of a commercial or professional nature. B-1 visa holders may not receive salary or other remuneration from a U.S. source other than reimbursement of expenses incurred incidental to the visit. Professional athletes who do not qualify for any of the non-immigrant visa classifications, typically the O or P visa classifications, may be permitted to participate in a tournament or sporting event through a B-1 visa. It is imperative, as with all B-1 visitors, that they receive no salary or payment other than prize money from U.S. sources. Athletes or team members may enter the United States as member of members of a foreign-based team in order to compete with other sports teams, provided the foreign national athlete and foreign sports teams are principally based in a foreign country, the income of the foreign team and the player's salaries are principally accrued in a foreign country, and a foreign-based sports team is a member of an international sports league or the sporting event has an international dimension. Another puzzler. I'm an amateur hockey player asked to join a professional U.S. team for a tryout. What type of visa do I require? In this situation, you will qualify for a B-1 visa, provided you have only signed a memorandum of agreement with the National Hockey League parent team and not a professional contract, and that you will only receive incidental expenses. When applying for a B-1 visa, you will be required to furnish a copy of the memorandum of agreement and a letter from the NHL team giving the details of the tryouts. If the agreement is not available, a letter from the NHL team giving the details of the tryouts and stating that such a tryout has been agreed must accompany the application. Next puzzle. We're a professional football or soccer team traveling to the United States to play a match. What type of visa do we require? Provided the income of the team and salary of the players is principally accrued in a foreign country, you will require B-1 visas or you may enter under the Visa Waiver Program. Okay, let's look specifically at B-2 visas for athletes. A B-2 visa is generally available for visiting the United States temporarily for pleasure. This includes visiting family, relatives, friends, or acquaintances, or traveling throughout the United States. A visitor on B-2 visa is generally permitted to stay in the U.S. for up to six months and may not engage in productive labor or employment in the United States. 
Amateur athletes, by definition, not members of any professionals or professions associated with the activity. An amateur athlete is someone who normally performs without remuneration other than an allotment for expenses. Therefore, an amateur who will not be paid for performances and who will perform in a social and or charitable context or as a competitor in an athletic event is eligible for B2 classification even if the incidental expenses associated with the visit are reimbursed. Again, note, unlike the other visa categories discussed in this article, athletes who qualify for B1 and B2 visas need not wait for a petition approval from USCIS before applying for their visas. They can apply directly with the U.S. Embassy or consulate overseas for visa approval and issuance. H-1B visa for athletes. The H-1B program allows the employer to temporarily employ a foreign worker in the U.S. on a non-immigrant basis in a specialty occupation. A specialty occupation requires a theoretical and practical application of a body of specialized knowledge and a bachelor's degree or the equivalent in the specific specialty. For example, sciences, medicine, healthcare, education, biotechnology, and business specialties. With the addition of the O and P visa categories, the H-1B program technically appears to be unavailable to aliens seeking entry to perform services included within those categories. However, in practice, Petitioners in athletic fields may still be able to elect between the H and the O categories, particularly with coaches and coaching staff. Let's now look at the H-2B visas for athletes. The H-2B non-immigrant program permits employers to hire foreign workers to come to the U.S. and perform temporary non-agricultural work. The work must be a one-time need, seasonal, peak load, or intermittent. A petition for an H-2B athlete must be accompanied by a tendered contract and a labor certification issued by the United States Department of Labor. Professional leagues must adhere to the total number of H-2B positions granted to them by the Department of Labor. Injured players and players who have voluntarily terminated their employment with a league may be replaced on the existing petitions, provided the injured or terminated employee returns to their native country. Such replacement will generally require the filing of a new petition. If an H-2B player is traded to another team, the player's H-2B labor certification slot remains with the trading team and not the receiving team. The receiving team must have an available slot to receive the player. If a team does not use all its designated H-2B labor certification slots on an initial petition, any subsequent signings to fulfill Designated slots will require a new petition. Okay, we've looked at a lot of things. Let's conclude here. Athletes have a variety of visa options available to them, depending on their skills and the nature and duration of the athletic event involved. Visa Pro's experienced immigration attorney consider all non-immigrant options available for each client, reviewing the pros and cons of each with the employer and the athlete so that they may make an informed decision. Once a non-immigrant classification has been selected, the key to success becomes preparation, both in preparing the petition for submission to the USCIS or the visa application for submission to the embassy or consulate, and with the last step, when preparing the client for the visa interview. Contact Visa Pro if you have any questions regarding any visa for athletes or if you need help filing with USCIS or consulates. Our experienced attorneys will be happy to assist you.